Another way that Outlook uh, automatically organizes our mail is by using what it calls the conversation view. What the conversation view does is that it takes a group of emails that are sent between yourself and other people in your organization and groups up into a thread. The reason why it does this is that, say for example, I've had a conversation or a back and forth email with a client that's gone on for over multiple days. Well, instead of having to navigate and access each of those individual emails, and using the conversation view, I'll be able to see, okay, from the very beginning, all the, all the different replies and re-replies and CCs and forwards that happened um, throughout the course of that conversation. And that could just be an easier way to pick things up. Um, but I, of course, with anything in Outlook, at any time, I could turn that off if I want the more traditional view. So let me show you how we do that. So you can see here I'm back uh, on my page, and I'm just having an email here for a test poll that happened um, between myself and Ellen. Um, again, because it's part of the conversation view, it'll be threaded in at the very, very top of the page here. If I want to change that view at any time, all I have to do is just navigate to our view tab at the top. You'll see that we have a couple different options here. Some of these we'll talk, we'll come back to a little bit later. And what we want to do is we want to navigate to this gear icon here that says current view. And you'll see we have a couple different options. We have show as conversations, and then we actually have ways uh, to change our conversation settings. So if I click on show, uh, click off, so it's currently set to conversation view. If I click on that, it'll take off the conversation view. Microsoft just wants to make sure, hey, uh, do you, if we're turning this off, do you want to turn it off across your mailbox or only in this folder? For this example, I'm only going to say, hey, just this folder, turn it off, and that conversation view will be removed. And if I ever want to turn it back on at any point in time, all I have to do is navigate back to my current view, head on over to show as conversations, click on it, again, save this folder, and we're good to go. And then, of course, we also have some conversation settings, so we can customize different things about it. Uh, so we can say, show messages from other folders. Uh, we can say, show senders above the subject. Always expand selected conversations. So if I click on that, um, if, again, it was a multiple thread with a lot of different key pieces to the email, um, we'll be able to see that all expanded at once. And then we can use the classic indented view. And what that does is, say, for example, and then replies to me, um, what it actually does is it'll indent your messages, almost like Blick Blocks um, or Tetris, some of those old school games. It'll indent them in a way that's just easier for you to see, okay, what's what. Uh, so again, the conversation view is automatically uh, open up and Outlook is automatically turned on by default. I like to leave it that way, but I do think it's really helpful to show, um, just in case it's not your style, how you can access it, how you can turn it off and manage it that way.